In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP Smart Tank 5101 or other similar model with your Mac computer. Could be a MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, no matter what model, I'll show you how it works. And after showing you how to connect them, I'll show you how to print using the Wi-Fi and also how to scan and sending the documents that got scanned directly on your computer. So let's get started. Step number one is to actually put your printer into pairing mode. If it's brand new and it's the first time you're connecting it to the power, it will already be in pairing mode. You see over here the Wi-Fi icon. If it's blinking blue like the way it is on my printer, it means that the printer is ready to get paired. But what if yours is not blinking blue? Well, in this case, it's very easy. To put it in pairing mode, all you have to do is to keep press this I button during five seconds until the panel lights up the way it just did. And then we need to press the Wi-Fi button and the X button both for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Then release these two buttons and the button over here will be blinking blue. Perfect. Now it's time to go on the Mac computer. So the first thing we need to do is to go on the App Store, the Mac Apple App Store, and search for HP Smart. It should be one of the first option and you need to download HP Smart for desktop. Mine just need an update, so I'll click over here, launch the app. And you should see something like this. This is the main screen of the HP Smart app. Now we need to add this printer on the app. And to do so, we first need to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network, the same network as your Mac. Just click over here on the top right corner. You see it's a printer with a plus sign. If not, click on Setup or add a, pr a printer. It's absolutely the same thing. Okay, I'll click here. Then select New Printer. Wait a few seconds and in this list you should see your HP Smart Tank printer appearing. Click on it. Now you need to enter the password of your Wi-Fi network that you're currently connected with your Mac computer. Then press continue. It will ask you to press the I button on your printer. If we're looking here, you can see the I button is blinking. Press it once and the setup will continue on your Mac screen. Perfect. Now we're going to click continue. Here, press accept all. If you want to use the HP Smart App, the one that we just downloaded, unfortunately, you need to sign in into your HP account. That is free to make and it only takes a few seconds to do it. But yeah, you cannot use uh, the printer with your Mac if you have not signed in into your HP account. I really don't like that HP is forcing you to sign in into your account so they can get your personal data, but this is the way it is with HP printers. Not just this one, but every single one of them. In my case, I already have an HP account, so I'll go and click over here, sign in. But if you do not have one, click create account. It only takes, as I said, a few seconds and you'll be good to go. So I'll go ahead, click here and enter my personal data. Okay, I have entered it. It's now loading again. Here you're gonna select auto update. This simply means that the printer will update by itself every time there is a, a firmware update. And here on this screen, I'm gonna skip printing page because we'll print our own document. We don't need their own test page. And finally, click skip sending link over here. And yes, we do not need this. You'll get this green check mark, simply means that everything is done correctly and press on all done. And on the top here on the app, you're gonna see your printer with the status of how much ink is left into the ink tanks. So now let me show you how to print using the Wi-Fi and also how to scan. First of all, printing. So over here we have print photos and print documents. Very straightforward. I'll select print documents because mine is just a text document. And from here we have to select the document that is on your Mac or on one of these cloud services. 
So I have selected one of my document that I want to print. It's just text. It's four pages. We can see them over here. And now we have to select print preview down below here. Then you need to click on this very small arrow. I don't know why they did this. Uh, it's very not very visible. And we'll have access to all the features, all the options about this printer. So over here, make sure your printer is selected. Then paper size, select your paper size. My is just a regular US letter, so I'll keep it this way. We have print copies, how many copies you want this, um, this printer to print. Private pickup, keep it off. Print quality, this is very important. We have three different quality settings here. I suggest you never choose draft because the color will be desaturated and there won't be any details. So select normal if you're printing text and if you print pictures or artworks or maybe some graphics, select best in that case. I'll just keep it to normal. You have then page range, select this. And in my case, I have four pages. Let's say I just want page number four to be printed. Well, I'll select it and then go back. And finally, we have color options. Do you want this to be in black and white or color? I'll just keep it the way it is. Before pressing the print button, make sure your printer has some paper inserted right there and that the receiving tray is extended. Perfect. Now I'll go ahead and press the print button and wait. Perfect, this is our print. It looks great. Now let me show you how to scan. So over here, I'll open the scan lid, take your document, and this is the top part, okay, of my document. I'll put it facing down with this top part on the left side, like this. Then you're gonna notice there is a white corner over here. You just need to drag, I mean, to push this paper until the corner of the paper touches the corner that has the white arrow. Close the lid. Let's exit this by pressing the done button. And then this time I'm gonna select print printer scan here. Wait a few seconds, it will give you a preview. This is not uh, gonna be saved, it's just a preview so you see what's on the scan bed. Okay, perfect. And now we have a few different settings here we can change. We have, first of all, make sure the scanner of the HP Smart Tank printer is selected. Then we have sources, don't touch this. We have preset. Preset here gives you some great presets, in my opinion, in case you want to scan, let's say, a picture, you can select photo or a document like a text document like mine. You have other options here. I don't think most people will use them, so this is why I won't go really through them. But otherwise, we have detect edges. We don't need this since, as you see here, you can drag the edges of this preview the way you want. So let's say I just want this top part of the printer to be, uh, top part of this paper, sorry, to be scanned. Well, I can adjust this the way I want, okay? Let's say this is what I like. And finally, we have output, color or black and white, page size, you have custom. Custom is when you drag those blue dots over here to make a custom scan. But let's say you have a letter size paper the way um, the one I have inserted here. You can simply select letter so it will scan the full letter size so you don't have to worry to drag these around. And finally, we have resolution. Resolution is something very important. Uh, if you're scanning a picture, artwork, graphics, the highest the number, the most details, and the larger file you'll get. So if you're scanning, let's say, an important photo and you want all the details, you want to have the best scan quality, choose the highest number here, which is 1200 dpi. An important thing to remember is if you select a high number on this list, it will take a while to scan. So at 1200 dpi, it may take up to 10 minutes to scan one single document. 
It takes a long time because the scanner needs to get all those details. If you're simply scanning some text, I suggest you choose 200 dpi and this will take around 12 seconds to do. 75 dpi, it's not something I recommend. Even 100, I don't think there is enough details. Even for text, you're gonna see the difference and you won't save much time at all. So keep it to 200 for text and if you want, more details, just choose 300, 400, 600, or 1200, depending how much time you have on your hand. Once you're done, press the scan button. So you see, it only took about nine seconds, I think this time, since I only have half of a page I want to scan. Before pressing the save button over here to save this or share, if you want to share it on social media, let's say, you can add multiple pages to your PDF document. Uh, let's say you have 50 pages and you want to combine them in one document. Well, it's very easy. You just have to go ahead, remove the page you just put, put the next one and press the scan button and you'll see them. You see over here I have one, but once you do this multiple times, you're going to have all your pages displayed down below. So when you're ready, press save here. You can give this project a new name, this PDF document or JPEG document a new name. Okay, and finally, select here what kind of file type you want. If you want to have a PDF with multiple pages, well, just leave it to basic PDF and press continue. You will then have to save it on your Mac, choose the location and press the save button. So this is it. This is how you use your HP SmartTank 5101 with your Mac computer. You're now ready to print and to scan. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please check my Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, if you want to get some ink, some paper or any other things for your printer, every time you go through my links, you support my channel by doing this. If not, simply comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.